Hi guys, Phoenix Hub here talking, playing the light traders, trying out combo between shelter of Kalin and divine location and uh, border, so full tank. Um, did a few games and uh, it's doable. The thing is, I'm getting some very weird matchmakings, some very tough matchmakings. Um, yeah, and, and it kind of depends a bit what what you face uh, with this build because uh, the mobility is not ideal. You get the tankiness, but the mobility is not ideal, so it's like horses there have to wait so you have instead of the full damage immunity you have this massive shield with shelter of Kalin and um, I'm using this testing this because everyone is playing either strafe demon hunter or dark curse necro and uh, the damage is brutal, the continuous damage. So, and you need to activate the idols. So, you need shields to survive and shields to activate the idol. Because if you stay too long in this uh, active, this stair phase and this. Um, activating the idle phase you will just eventually uh, lose of course if you get the whale to gain uh, I lost my horse ah, you will uh, lose anyway you will die anyway so yeah no okay Apparently, uh, no one activated here the idols left. So uh, this is we are we are climbing. We are called one. I don't know. There are people that still this play. I don't know. Just she skills. But uh, yeah, you need to be methodical. Uh, uh, activate because when you're attacking you have yeah you have some conditions uh, you have time you have uh, you know, thank you this guy is um so you need to actually perform some stuff um, in a way you will get more uh, victories um, and we are pushing left everyone is here and uh, right is not pushing either someone really strong over there or yeah or or something is just they they seem they have necros they have demon methods but they don't have wizards and that's good because wizards can really really give you a hard time so this guy is in full dps mode you're going to just go back and just wait for the disco bounce to go to expire and I'm going to use my ult here and all my shields because otherwise I cannot survive as you can see you can double proc the, the shield the off shelter of Kaleen and if this is a, probably a mid res game if this was a high res game I would not survive over there but you, you can see in the mid-res game you can actually just K 
can hear the I.O. and just do well. And now I'm just overextending. You need to realize when you're just uh, pushing it too far. And yeah, this is kind of conjuration, so just leave now banner. And th this is a mid res game. You, you see, they have no chance. They have necros. If they have, they had a wizard with the full set, they would probably would kill me once or twice. But even then, uh, it, it would have to be a, like a 4K wizard. Um, so this build is actually very good if you play. Um, if you have like three three and a half case that armor I'm going to, I'm going just to give banner to my teammates and shield I'm not going to auto attack the heart death because look at the dip the <coughs> continuous damage that you see in battleground right now uh, it's just absurd so yeah you probably better off uh, playing uh, a build, and you see people are the people are uh, killing is the people that are playing a uh, strafe um, uh, demon hunter. This guy has three K armor. The penetration was MVP. So and the people that are playing the 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 curse build, the dark curse build as necros so a lot of continuous damage um, and yeah three 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 k armor three point five three point five k armor three point five k armor penetration is the minimum to um do battleground right now you should aim for 4k i have 3k of votes and um yeah if you play versus players with that or below like you see this right here um you with this build will just continue to to continue survive to, to survive and just push uh, or stall uh, either if uh, while they're defending or attacking. We're still climbing, and you, see, you still see some weird decisions like that not that not activating die over there. But uh, yeah, I'm going to show you again the build. Uh, so in my opinion, um, yeah, Warden. Shelter of Cowin with Divine Provocation. You can sometimes even uh, stack the shield, so only Shane CC will kill you. But Shane CC will kill you even with the other um, total immunity for four or five seconds. Uh, so you're better off this way because you can uh, just try to escape and uh, yeah and uh, shield again the cooldown is very low um, and if you take damage of course even lower so uh, arrow keeper to you become the banner and the uh, lesser titanic to just reduce the continuous damage and even with this you <laughs> take a lot of damage so Damage reduction and movement speed is something that you should try to get from your uh, items. So, we are using uh, four mob banks for V2s. And uh, yeah, I like this combo over here, but here you can use whatever you want. Um, so, yeah, this is the build. Use your uh, movement speed warband room and uh, yeah, try to get the, the most movement speed. I would swap this for the new shield that gives movement speed once 
you use banner uh, but I don't have it yet and uh, yeah so this is a cool build once the game is balanced with unbalance um, it's also a cool build but yeah you sometimes you it, it if you catch someone really strong you will die anyway and you the, the game you will lose the game anyway so yeah may I, yeah, you may say that yeah sometimes the perfect timing of a conjuration with full immunity will win you a game but uh, yeah games are not like that anymore you have this sometimes this massive um, imbalance games and uh, constantly blocking shield so you have 10 seconds uh, cooldowns um, uh, with the with four seconds you have like uh, six seconds cooldown you can proc this over and over um, if you are not CC if you are Shane CC you are going to die anyway of course with Gladiator you have one um, chance but if they uh, wait for you and just CC you again you are going to die anyway so Warland is probably the best um, this is kind of cool the only thing is yeah you should aim for 4k armor 4k armor penetration um, I'm trying to reach 3.5k of both without spending money uh, because this game is just rigged <laughs> but um, yeah if, if you die a lot just uh, you can probably swap for the other uh, immunity uh, because if you're playing with your Dusk Brawler, your Cat, your, your Mouth Bank and you're using this combo and you using uh, damage reduction uh, from your items and you're dying, yeah, you probably better off with the other immunity. So hope you guys like this one and see you next battle.